Good day, folks. Merrick here again with New View Doorsman. Just doing a little video now today. Going to show you some stuff that I picked up while I was down to Canadian New Door Equipment a couple months ago. So, right here in front of me, as you can see, I have a couple books by Ray Mears. Um, I have Northern Wilderness, which I haven't read yet, but I have watched the series on YouTube. So, I'm fairly familiar with what's going to be in the book. I'm sure there will be some extra information that I haven't learned, but pretty familiar with the whole thing so far. The other one here is Ray Mears, My Outdoor Life. Um, if you're not familiar with Ray Mears and you're into the outdoors, um, he's a good person to check out. He does a lot of more so bushcraft. He does a little bit of wilderness survival, but mostly bushcraft, and he does like a lot of... Um, how can I put it like bushcraft anthropology which is where you go like he studies like the ancient tribes and how they survived and how they got through before the modern times and how they're still surviving using the skills that they learned um, so yeah if you're into that he's a good one to check out um, this book here my outdoor life as you can see I've started reading it um, about halfway through I guess it's about 400 pages. It's a good read. It tells of basically how he got started as a kid into the outdoors and continued on to be the person that we're all, that most of us are familiar with today in the outdoor community. Um, it's a very good read. There are some very good stories in here um, throughout his life. I uh, gotta say, he's uh, more of a badass than I thought he was. Um, but yeah, no, it's a good read. So like I say, if you're into reading and you like Ray Mears, it's a good couple books to pick up. You can pick them up anywhere probably, Indigo, Chapters, whatever. I just bought, I happened to buy them down there at Canadian Outdoor Equipment that day because I was there. And it's nice to have because we've had a lot of downtime this year with lack of snow here. And anybody who's watched my previous videos knows I'm up here in Mississauga, Ontario, snow clearing this year and we've had minimal snow. So it makes for a lot of downtime. Now I'm going to move some stuff in the frame so just forgive me Aaron and everything here. Because I am still doing this all on a cell phone. And I don't have a tripod or nothing but yet so I got to look into a bit of stuff. Getting some stuff I guess. But anyway I also picked up a little Maxpedition uh, the EDC pocket pouch. I believe this is their smallest one. And as you can see, there's I have a fill with some stuff right now. Not everything that's in this that I I bought down at Canadian New Door Equipment. Some stuff I already had. I just put it in here because you know just keep track of it easier. But right here I have a flashlight. This is just a uh, one. Right, let me get it. I'll show you the brand name of it. Pelican. It uh, it's a just too small. Double A battery, two mode flashlight, high and low. I believe. Yeah, just high and low. Um, I haven't used that one a lot. I have another one that I use for work for when I'm doing my pre trips on equipment stuff. But, it, you know, I said I throw it in that kit and I'll mostly just keep track of it. Just in case anybody asks what brand it is. Um, yeah, also while I was down there, I picked up three pieces of flint. Um, only like three ninety five a piece or four bucks a piece, so not bad. I picked up three decent pieces. I may actually take this and may actually keep this piece where it's beveled. May try to sharpen it down. Maybe make it more of a blade. Then maybe try doing some light skinning or something with it in the fall, a bit of hunting or something. Not sure yet though. Like I say, I got a flint and steel kit at home, so they may just go for that. I also picked up. A pocket stone here just a small sharpener it's dual sided of course and fine um, doesn't specify the brand name just says knife and axe I did have a little card that belonged to it that was 36 bucks I do believe and I believe that's all I picked up there yeah pretty much sure that's all I picked up that day down the Canadian outdoor equipment um, take out a lot more stuff down there if I had the money I'd love to have it's a great store. Um, 
I haven't been back down there since, but uh, I'm hoping to get down there maybe once again before I leave and maybe pick up some more stuff. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to show a few other things I have in here, just because, you know, I got it open, so why not? Uh, right here, I just got some line, and I got a pocket sharpener, Lansky pocket sharpener with the, it's got the ceramic carbide sharpener and the diamond rod. That's coming very handy for putting a good quick edge back on a knife, especially where I moose hunt um, and hunt in general. And anybody that's familiar with hunting, especially moose, you know how fast moose hair dolls at a blade. So that's, you know, it's nice to have for cutting a quick edge back. Here I just got a small, simple Swiss Army knife that I had. I brought two of them up here with me. Um, I keep one in my pocket. And this one here, I just put in this, mostly just to keep track of it. But uh, this one hasn't been used too much, so it's still good and sharp. I got a pack of matches. Some waterproof matches, UCO waterproof matches there. And I'll show you all how I come about getting this. Because you're going to be like, well, where'd you get it if you didn't buy it at Canadian New Dorkland? This here is a small Esbit stove. Emergency stove with some fuel tabs. I just keep it in this rear sleeve here on this side. And that's all I have on that rear side. And then over here... I have an emergency blanket. Man, you're all familiar. Damn, it's more so... Actually, it's more of an emergency tube tent than it is a blanket. But, uh... Oh, well, I was at Princess Auto one day. While I was up here, I was out and in Princess Auto looking around. And they had this UCO little kit there. It just matches the stove and the shelter so basically shelter food and fire you know what more do you need in survival um <laughs> to keep you going but anyway it was there i seen it on sale it was regularly like 30 bucks and i ended up picking it up it was there for 25 and i got it for 16 when i got to the cash so that was a nice little bonus but yeah so like i said i just decided to put most of this stuff in here just to sorry about that folks Start a little survival kit for myself. A little pocket one. Eh, I may use it, I may not, I don't know. But I mean, I got the pouch, so if nothing else, it's good for just storing, you know, the smaller items of your kit that usually wind up sometimes in the bottom of your bag. You got to dig for them. So it's a great way to keep everything, you know, to put that stuff in here, zip it up, and then just throw it in like the top of your pack or an outer pouch of your pack so if you know, want to get to it in a hurry or if you want to use it for a first aid kit or whatever but I usually got a first aid kit anyway so even just for a quick grab and go kit to throw in my well it might be a bit big for a pant, cargo pants pocket although they say it's supposed to fit but it does have a grab handle on the back and attachments for molly so you can throw it attached to outside of a pack or what I may do because it's a pretty wide loop so I may just take it and set it up as like just a small I'm basically like a small survival kit because I do do some hiking down home back home in Newfoundland and a lot of our trails or hiking trails are um, they're, how can I put it they're like really off-road kind of trails takes you up into some of the mountains and stuff now not that we got big mountains but they do take you into some forested areas up sides some up sides some small mountains and stuff we do have like the Appalachians so it would be nice just to have throw on my belt you know throw it on the belt along because I usually always got a belt knife or some form of belt knife or larger pocket knife with me so that and that would be you know, if nothing else, it'd be a good little emergency overnight kit. If I happen to get stuck. You know, happen to get stuck or whatever. But I usually always got a backpack with me, but still. You never know, I'll figure out something to do with it. I know, I've been wanting one for a few years, and I couldn't justify ordering one online and have to pay the expense of shipping, so I figure while I'm here, pick one up. I may pick up a couple more. They do have some bigger ones. I may or may not get they are a bit pricey I think this one was in the $30 range and then the bigger ones go up like in the 40 and $50 range but I figure you know I'm here and I'm here and I'm close to the handy to the store so it'll be a good time to 
check it out but yeah it's a nice little store um i've been doing a bit while i've been here trying to get out exploring as much as i can some days i haven't been out um some days you just want to be lazy and lounge around but no i've been out like i said i've worked a bit so i've been out driving that and then i was down to port credit a couple times down on lakeshore boulevard down around the waterfront lake ontario and stuff i was out last monday um i didn't shoot no video i just took some photos but uh i am on instagram uh newfie chef 26 because newfie outdoors was taken unfortunately um but yeah newfie chef 26 i'm on instagram so i posted uh, some of the pictures on there that i took a lot of wildlife because they got a lot of swans and ducks and stuff and geese now i'm by no means a very good like a very good photographer but uh, if you want to check it out there are some pictures on there and i got some pictures of like the uh, toronto skyline in the background with the cn tower and everything in case you're wondering but uh no yeah it's uh other than that, don't mind the chips in the background because I saw me a little bit of junk food stash and cleaned up my room a bit here yesterday and trying to make space where I can because it's not a very big room. But yeah, no, uh, I'm going to try to get some video tomorrow if I can. They have a uh, outdoor adventure show taking place here now in the International Center for anybody that's familiar with Mississauga. And it's going to be uh, home to, like, all the hiking and f hiking, kayaking, canoeing, travel, that sort of thing. Um, I was at the uh, boat and fishing show last weekend. Um, I was hoping to take some video, but I was there with a group of guys from work, and there were so many people around. And, I mean, you know, it's fishing stuff. You're, everybody's seen fishing rods and fishing tackle and stuff like that, so... I didn't really bother taking any video. But I am going to the outdoor show tomorrow. And I'm going to try to take some video there if I can. Um, I'm going to try to get some pictures. Because Les Stroud's going to be there. So, hoping to get me a picture taken with Survivorman if I can. That'd be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, no. I'm going to try to take some video if I can. Or if uh, I get anybody from, if anybody goes down with me, I may try to get them to take some video. Because far as i know they're going to be having a little they're going to have a pool set up so try it so you can test out the kayaks and canoes and stuff and i'm taking shorts and t-shirt with me just in case the change <laughs> that i can change into in case i decide to go even test out a canoe because i went to a little funny story now for in this video i went to the other boat show they have in downtown toronto at the Anercare center i believe it is last month again with some co-workers and friends and uh anyway i didn't know yet you could test out both like some of the canoes and stuff there so i went down and i decided to test out this one particular brand of canoe it's like a canoe kayak hybrid and anyway i went out into the freaking thing and i saw <laughs> and i swamped the damn thing um I didn't realize how tippy they were and I ended up in the pool, in the water and make the best of it I thought what I thought was a heated pool was actually water pumped in from Lake Ontario so that was a bit frigid so I ended up spending the rest of the day there fortunate enough they were there they had some spare clothes and stuff there so the uh, I guess the show promoters or whatever show staff they provided me with a pair of pajama pants and a t-shirt but uh yeah safe to say my boots and all my clothes was soaked so it was pretty chilly the rest of the day walking around with, and with a wet hoodie on and wet boots and wet socks but uh yeah i never unfortunately nobody managed to get any pictures of that which I'm, yeah i shouldn't i suppose it was, in one sense i'm kind of glad nobody did but in the same sense it would have been funny just to see my reaction i suppose but yeah so i'm gonna try to get one just, anybody goes down with me tomorrow I'm gonna try to get somebody to take video if I decide to go up in the canoe because eh. If I takes a so if I takes a dump in I'm again it'd make for a pretty good YouTube moment, I guess, or YouTube video or Facebook moment. Good laugh anyway. But yeah, no, so like I say, that's just me little Max Expedition poucher now. Like I say, I don't know if I'm gonna make a survival kit with it or just a 
wilderness walking kit or whatever I'm going to do with it. But I'll decide that when I get home and I got full access to my gear. But if nothing else, like I said, it's just a great little way to order. It'll be a great little way to organize, help organize my pack as well. Um, just for the smaller items and stuff. Because, you know, any of you are watching my channel, and you're obviously into the wilderness and the and all the bushcraft and everything like that too so i'm sure you've seen other channels where they have you know these kits done up and all these pouches and stuff i may pick up another one because i seen one guy do make use one for a travel kit for all these like cables and stuff like that so it's not a bad for in the pack too which for a carry-on bag which is not a bad idea either but anyway i don't want to make this video too long and it's almost up 16 minutes there now so like I said, it was just a bit of the stuff I bought, and it was just a little video I wanted to shoot today because I haven't shot one since I got here at the beginning of November, there in the middle of November. And now it's the 20th of February, so time's winding down for me. I'll be hopefully out of here by April. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. Like I said, just do all that good stuff, you know, like, share, subscribe, whatever, if you like the video. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate your uh, any feedback and comments, negative or positive. Have a good day, folks. Bye for now.